Yeah, whenever Luna gets the, let's say, fifth uh, or sixth slot, uh, he cuts her HP to 50%. Could kill someone who's standing close. Go at 7-3 against the SF-7-6, so maybe coming out with a couple more denies. Nova from X Nova, you're talking about the Rubik. Well, spot Farta here. Wild Axes still ready to go and snare the Metamorphosis. Farta trying to escape, but the lift back into this arm ATB. One more hit is all he needs. Farta cutting through with the salve and the tango. Gets himself out of danger potentially here with the Wild Axes swinging back. X Nova dropping low and first blood goes to Yapsor. Now he's ensnared and surely will fall. But that is well played by Team Secret. Fata with some godly moves. Yeah, nice turnaround. The, the flask usage uh, hiding in a, in the trees. Bottom lane again. Fata caught. Lift back after the ensnare. And this time, Arme does not get caught by that Echo Stomp. But Fata, tanky, not tanky enough. Wiped down by the Terror Blade. Thor will maneuver himself from east to west towards that middle lane. Chalice running away from top. Puppy with a glimpse back and the Lucent Beam will drag him. Bottom lane, and it looks like LGD have given up on top. That should be a kill on, on Omni on bottom. The roar comes in, the right clicks from Luna. Purification and Guardian Angel, though, from Chalice by a little bit of time. After dropping low here, an ace with this Eclipse will be forced to use it. In comes X Nova, burst down immediately. Static Storm is there, flying through from Poppy. Chalice found, turns around with that purification, but Gyro arrives with that haste rune swinging in for this tier one tower. Taken by Secret and a very nice maneuver. He'll be able to bring down the tower. And not too much action happening. Only nine kills, uh, 13 minutes in. Beastmaster with the Helm of the Dominator finished has an extra unit. Flying mid one having a bit of a scrap. That cooldown does just flip. Doesn't land the second rocket, but the rocket barrage will do the job. Meanwhile, Static Storm onto Chalice. LGD being picked apart from right to left. Rubik with a lift, and that's pretty much it, or SF Naga, Blink. Siren, and Snare. SF has Blink Yules, that's, that seems like the only way they're going to be able to jump onto the Lunar here. Maybe those switches back towards the Disruptor. Static Storm will cancel out any further follow-through. Now the Song maybe has Repel. Moves forward. Requiem onto who, though? They've got to wind it up, but Fast is here, potentially with a roar to turn back in. The cooldown will land as well. Down goes X Nova, and maybe follows. Chalice trapped inside everything else in Team Secret. Oh, man. Ah. That really is a disaster for LGD. You know, they're setting up, they're getting their big old left hook to get. As LGD, fortunately, left with a bit of taste in their mouth and even more potentially going to come their way. They've trapped in Elder, uh, the Terror Blade here with the Elder Titan. Yapsor may be about to die, will indeed the Sunder thrown back, but Ace, Lucent Beams and damage from mid one will secure another kill. Arme, what was he doing there? They don't have meta, they don't have. Uh... Naga Siren, uh, they can easily take tier 2 tower. It's a chain feed. Maybe they've got vision of him, glimpsed back. Yules up from himself, but the static storm is still going to be there with the roar. Down maybe goes. Far back away from this mid lane, making sure that he gets caught by absolutely nothing. No. Random stomp, no static storm, no anything, no hawk vision. Sure, he can also push out this bottom wave as well. Top lane, Ace is up here on the tier three, an unexpected move there. Creep wave arriving in mid, Ace oh. makes the maneuver, maybe down the bottom lane, caught with a static storm. The Lincolns was popped and down he goes. Buyback is available, but now SF, half his souls down the drain. Drop of a hat, the hawk scouting out the Terror Blade. Vision over LGD for a short time. Jumping in, though. Shadow Fiend realizes that with that Static Storm down, he cannot go for the Requiem play. Will back up, but the song is here. FY catches four. Can they get on, on top of a big target, though? Where's the Shadow Fiend? Where's the Requiem? He's not available. Mid one will get trapped in here, but throws the cooldown in. Maybe still holding onto that ulti. But mid one, he's got the cheese in two seconds. There is no way you're killing this Gyrocopter with that Butterfly ready and raring to go. Now, though, with the BKB done, Requiem too early. Lacrosse, too early! Now Gyro pops the cheese and maybe we'll have to run away. The Gyro survives through it all. And the one thing we didn't want to happen has happened. In onto the racks, the buildings are falling and LGD absolutely shredded here by Team Secret's game plan. Masterful display as the missile finishes off FY. The TB will sunder back onto Ace, but a quick Hurricane Pike back will allow the Luna to escape.
but Rack's top, and now maybe an SF bot. A secret really pulling out all the stops in this game. I told you the recipe how not to miss the Shadow Fendalti, and it just happened. Uh, they have no lockdown whatsoever, and Team Secret at this point can just do whatever they want. It really does feel that way. Oh, Luna, ulti, BKB as well, kills off X Nova. Oh, Somnus. Go Scepter up for him. A spooky proposition against that Eclipse, but it ends at the right time, and good game has been called. Secret, 19 to 9. 2,000 net worth lead at the end, but it was an absolute clinic from them. Precision gaming. From start Precision to gaming, you say. Well, at the at the end, uh, they were spreading them in their base the same way your uh, tattoo of a rose. <laughs> What's happening, man? This is Team Secret. They have four melee heroes against Sanking, Void, and Jakiro. That <laughs> feels so weird in the range of a tower. Clicks her a couple of times. If she uses the Shadow Strike, uses Doppelganger. Bottom lane, they even rotate the Bounce Counter. Two man oh, stun nice. with a Mango play. Chalice in onto Ace and Poppy. Wraith King does turn back with a stun, and Yapsu arrives with a great shards play there. FY and Chalice trying to get in deep, but Ace. Through some trees and first blood goes the way of Yapsor. Ace is still alive here with no stun available from the sanking. He turns back the snowball safe, comes on through and Chalice in all sorts of trouble. They'll take him down for a double. Yapsor may be looking for more here as Puppy bashes 17. back X Nova. There's the double nice with a double bash and X Nova getting slapped around under this radiant tier. One of three for nothing. Team secret Yapsor's TP snappy instant. Why's Bounty still sitting at level 2 as Poppy closes in on 3. Yapsor also in the vicinity. Try and get himself away here. Maybe looks for the snowball. Dodges nice the dodge. Borrow Strike as Chalice a little bit too quick there. Now the charge through. So will be kept alive for a little longer. There's no dual breath for 4. A Borrow Strike ready now from Chalice. Should catch in here and finally Yapsor dies. But yeah, damage expires. Ace, time to buy some mangoes there. He's got a mango and a clarity from that courier. They'll move in now. Mango ready for Ace to get that stun to pop out. Jakiro is the target of choice. Chalice with a two-man stun. No, Poppy dodged away from it, and the Ice Shards will trap the Jakiro in. Chalice trying to get a bit more damage in onto Ace as the Bash pushes the Jakiro back, out, and away, but they have the Snowball to potentially make a play. Yapsor has to get it off now. Can he get this kill, though? He's going on Jakiro. Mango HP regen is there. The Shards won't come in time. Oh. He didn't want to use it right away because he was kind of greedy. Wanted to stun both him and the Sanking. Damage. Middle lane, but bottom Charging charge onto X Nova. Chalice He's here with a potential Burrow Strike onto two. Again, very good stuns from the Sand King. But I don't know if he can save X Nova with the shards trapping the Jakiro in. Ace will slice down the double headed dragon. Chalice sticks around a little bit longer here, but the Snowball will come out. Stun up the Sand King. Two-man stun again. He has, charge. he has one charge is here on Ace, who turns around and stuns, but the Whoa! Sonic Wave! Maybe with an instant triple. Queen of Pain comes in and, well... Uh, with the Skeletons? Yeah. Now, well, I mean, you can't control them, and they feed away a lot of gold if they, they're going to come to mid lane right now. Well, FY dies with the Snowball bottom. X Nova. We get trapped in here. Static link from Fata as maybe looks to blink forward aggressively. Sonic Wave is ready if he switches to Intreds, but the trouble is he's already dead. Or a smoke, how many? Smoke, or left. Obs. Nice bait. Ice Path not going to land onto Puppy. He's in there with a dust onto FY, but the skeleton's chasing down Chalice. No Burrow Strike ready. He's being ripped apart. Damage too much. Yeah, this, these skeletons actually deal a lot of damage. The speed they get. The problem is Tom was... Yes, purchased in hero is the FY tracking back onto mid one. Doppelganger is here. Forced to use it as he is low HP up on the high ground with the shards to block LDD away from the Phantom Lancer. The Sonic Wave goes out, but the PL's already far away. No ball back into Chalice, but the Ice Path on the Yapsaw. At least they'll secure themselves this little Tusk kill. 
mid one getting out there. I mean, that was a great effort from himself and the rest of the team that allow him to escape. Puppy goes in. Very aggressive plays. Razor from the high ground. Baits out the chrono. Lands only onto Fata now with the Macroplier down. Razor will get focused as Puppy has died. PL trying to rejoin, but the damage output from LGD too much. Now a track back in. Mid one doppelgangers away. Can he juke with these illusions? No. Chalice with a big stun in. We'll make sure that LGD sweep through four of them. Team Secrets for us. It'll be another kill. And snowball potentially, but... LGD will come in from the back anyway. This is maybe with the double damage rune, the charge through. Ace stuns up Chalice. The Burrow Strike lands though with the Ice Path there, but Ace wasn't caught. Queen of Pain aiming there for a nice little snipe out on Yapsaw, but they'll lose their Sand King in exchange. Fine, maybe not so worth it. But Ace dying to Shadow Strike here. One charge, armlet toggle. Yeah, okay, he's got it. He's a god. Never mind. What am I talking Dustin about? Dustin cooldown. Now, spread from secret across three cores, plus the Tusk having a ton of money. While on LGD, it's really the top two that have the majority of the net worth. Mid one now, doppelgangering away. Gets out of the epicenter, and on this low ground, he's in a decent position to jump out as well. But the nice... Time dilation will stop the doppelganger from coming out again. The nice Phantom Rush, even better, gets onto the high ground, but one more punch nice to the chrono. snowball save. Oh, it's going to keep him alive. Ice Path in with the chrono there. Doppelganger, mid one is still up and running. The macro by clearing through Ace. Now they'll bring him down, but that's the reincarnation. He's able to come through and cycle his spells again. Fath is still going, and X Nova in trouble. Bar strike from Chalice does catch two, and Ace, they need to focus him. But Jakiro and Bounty both dead. There's no track, there's no control, there's no Sand King stun. He's in the sandstorm. And Ame is dead. Team Secret with a huge team fight. Kill four and only lose one. Wow, that was one of the big problems with LGD in the previous game. How, how's that even possible? Like they would they would make these moves. Like Ame right now with, with maybe. Right. FY has two wards in, in his inventory. Fata getting right click down though with a double damage from Queen of Pain. Easy pickings with a Chrono while up at top lane. They'll know that Chrono's down and the Quop is there, so they move in. Jakiro caught, but Epicenter nicely done with the Burrow Strike. Snowball Snave better! Yapsaw keeps everyone alive with the Doppelganger out. Mid one tries to sprint away. Quop arrives and takes the Aegis out immediately, but Ace slaying people in the midst of battle. He does not care. His sword is bigger than your mace. Ame ah, has to run away. The charge of Puppy and onto maybe. Do they have the control? It looks no like they've got man, the damage. They don't care about control. Secret, secret, secret. This is why it just wants to tank up, not so they can't kill him. Uh, usually, would see Manta style, so he can get rid of. Nothing to get rid of. That's why he went right by. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Reincarnation. Ready. It's ready. Ace. He will turn his fight around. Army stuck in the tree. He needs to cut through. There's the catch with the Chrono, but it's only on the Wraith King. They have the damage from outside as well. Now they will bring down Ace with the Sonic Wave. Good over the top. But LGD expended so much for just that one kill. Ice Shards do trap Ame in, but he's got a time walk to get himself away. Faster, and then you can shove out the waves. Uh, use Ice Shards and uh, Snowball, and you clear them in one shot. Also gives you uh, ability to be on the same level as your cores later on, and gives you a lot of stats, status resistance as well. Oh, they are really committing for this. But the Snowball save again. Yapsor is just so good at this. They will roll forward as the Raid 5 Blast from, Fat, uh, from Ace, sorry, comes in and they'll clear up Chalice. One charges forward, but again, LGD, they are trying to force things to happen with Puppy dusting forward. FY has been caught by this potentially, and there we go. They see them. Yapsor already on the case. We'll try and bring down the pesky little bounty hunter. One more hit, one more tap. It's Fatter. No, it's not. It's Yap. Yapsor gets yeah, it with the urn, I guess. Earn. Quickly dispatching the Roshan, LGD with maybe mid shoving out that creep wave. Trying to set up for something and give themselves a little more of an angle to move in. But this has given Secret an angle to strike as well. The BKB from Arme jumps away from the static link. He can go for a two-man chrono here, but it's not going to be good enough. They try and force Chalice out, but he's dead. Three gone from LGD already as the Queen of Pain blinks up towards the high ground with Arme holding the ramp as well. But jump in from Ace. Pops the Lincolns out. There's a blink away again from maybe. And FY tries to earn the Queen of Pain up, but in comes a charge. Puppy, he's ready to fight. No, he's not. Turn tail and run. They're forced to buy back from the Sand King, and this will be their time to depart. I'm, I'm surprised that uh, they didn't uh, take the Roche there. Instead, they decided to chase Queen of Pain, which might actually backfire. They still have a Reincarnation on the rating, which is level 3. Sand King uh, needed to buy back there. Roshan glitched out inside of his pit, doesn't know where to stand. Twiddling his thumbs over in the... 
the right hand side of the room but middle lane they will jump in puppy gets taken out as quickly as he printed forward ace now with a spirit vessel on him right click down here i don't think he can armor toggle through this we'll see though ace chrono though and he definitely can't they do not catch the pl though as fata moves forwards mid one Still full nah. HP, they can't deal with him. Mid one's just gonna run in here and do a ton of damage. Chalice gone. Nice ice path. Macropire does get the tusk. Gap sword can't snowball save people, but FY being ripped apart. The PL illusion is going in. Fire to drop by maybe. And they don't want to deal with a PL. They're killing everyone else instead. LGD says, cool, mid one, you do what you want. We will destroy the rest of your team. Nice Double game over the ice path now. Ace still rolling forward as X Nova gets brought to his knees. Now yeah, that chronosphere only caught. PL on the edge and uh, caught Raid King with, with an ultimate and the PL has uh, actually gone for Kari just needs career to buy it. They blow up Puppy. There is a reincarnation here from Ace though as the Baroque Strike lands on two. Chalice with no Sandstorm but a good Ice Path. Blink forward maybe catches mid one. Aegis and she's still on him though like you were mentioning. Turns back and fights no maybe man, no matter. Can't blink. One charge there but is unable to get it done. Now Ace just moves on forwards. He's a bulldozer rolling in onto LGD. The tarmac unable to withstand the weight of this Wraith King. Oh, they ping it out. Fanta knows. Just Fanta come knows. with the Radiance. There we go. Oh. Very nicely done. <laughs> That's a Razor with cheese. Uh, another ulti from Wraith King and still Aegis on Phantom Monster. So you have three cores with uh, three lives. Eight versus five. Eight versus three, actually. Orchard Hero saved up a little bit here with the Yules and a stun. X Nova dead to right, says the Wraith King. Dismantles and mounts the two heads on his bedroom wall. Ace will take down a nice little lane of racks here for Secret to claim as they shift up towards top as well. Chrono ready from the Faceless Void, but they need maybe to be alive at this point. Tier 3 top will surely fall. Arme comes in, catches the Wraith King. A reincarnation is yeah, there. He hits uh, everyone once, goes back. Just can't do anything. Oh, GD, <laughs> they're, they're just getting outdone here. Secret inside this base. The doppelganger over, dodges the Burrow Strike. Arme now oh, can't even time walk away. Dead for a minute and a half. Queen of Pain blinking, TPing. Where is she off to? I, I can't, can't keep up. Maybe. Okay, back in the fountain then. When it's time to call it, it's time to call it. I believe it might just be time to call it. There's the Sonic Wave, but Secret 5, man. Rotation into the fountain. On my way, says Fata, but that is surely game. GG is called, and Team Secret 2-0. Wipe LGD off the face of the freaking map. Uh, once again, uh, Team Secret with uh, unorthodox picks. Like, four melee heroes. Uh, the bottom lane was lost at the start, uh, but they managed to come back. The jungling... Uh, uh, Raid King is the new Legion command.